Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome back to Miraculous Monday. Now, today should be a pretty interesting week, because we got two new episodes. We got Ladybug, or was it? It may have only been one. I don't know, we got Ladybug uh, last week, so that's going to be good. And next week should also be pretty interesting, because we'll be getting Star Train, and then Kwame Buster, I think? I don't know, there's two episodes Monday and Tuesday on Family Channel, so... Uh, well, actually today today that this video is going up so double upload today probably because uh, it is 5:30, and I was able to do it like Thursday or whatever when ladybug came out so uh, yeah double upload in I don't know maybe like five hours as of like the air day I don't know anyway uh, no fan art we're just gonna hop right into number 20 of this week's reddit reaction he could he doesn't Akumatizing Natalie into someone with the power to fix the peacock miraculous, letting her use it until it visibly becomes too much, and then just telling her to stop. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that would actually work though. Because I don't know how permanent Hawk Moth's things are, but I guess like since we're so used to like Ladybug just erasing everything and everything going back to normal, I don't know the implications of how well. Uh, this would actually work like if ladybug just used her ladybug thing after using her lucky charm would everything go back to normal to where uh, the peacock miraculous wouldn't be fixed I don't know but this is a good thought and it, I don't know like it'd be interesting to see like if this were to happen or something this was the highlight of the episode for me he needs a round of applause when Adrian put Lila in her place, everybody liked that. Yeah, it was awesome to see that uh, Adrian stood up for Marinette, and that's one thing that a lot of people commented about, being like, hey, why didn't you mention that Adrian stood up for Marinette? I don't know, I, I guess it just didn't seem like a thing that I really needed to talk about. I mean, that's what friends would do, so that's why I didn't mention it in my Ladybug analysis, just simply because... I mean, that's just what friends would do. That wasn't out of the ordinary. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, Adrian's doing this crazy thing. It was something that was expected from him, so I didn't really talk about it. But uh, a lot of people seem to want me to talk about it, so when things like that happen more, I'll try to like actually talk about it to fill your guys' needs. I love how confused she looked in the first episode. Everybody, while their first transformation, I think it's meant to be like during their first transformation, it's just them like being all crazy. And then Marinette, while her first transformation, or during her first transformation, she looks like she doesn't know what's going on. So it's like, this one's everybody's like having fun, dancing around and stuff, and then Marinette's just like, what am I supposed to be doing? So, I mean, yeah, I guess that that is kind of weird how all the new heroes just seem to know what to do. And that's why I keep saying, hey, push the episodes into multiple episode arcs so that they can explain and show, like, uh, in this example, Kim. It'd be awesome if Kim didn't immediately just go out and beat the villain. It would be nice for him to see, like, oh my gosh, uh, how does my power work? Like, it would be nice of him, like, it would just be nice to see uh, how they work up to get to where they are instead of them just knowing what to do. I don't know, that just seems a little bit unrealistic, and hopefully Season 4 does have things like this, but I'm not really counting on it. And that's a fact. People that like Marinette, people that like Adrian, people that like Gabriel, people that like Lila, just one person. <laughs> uh, w would this even be someone? Like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like we've talked about this before. And I, I like Lila as a story pusher. Like, she pushes the story along. Like, without Lila, we wouldn't have a good episode. Like, Ladybug was my favorite episode of the entire series ever. And without Lila, that wouldn't be possible. So, I mean, like, in that sense, I do like Lila because she creates good episodes. But, uh, like, as a fan, Lila annoys me. And that's... I've, I've said that before, and I know I have. But, um... I don't know, maybe this one dots me. I, I don't know. Watching Desperata and this popped into my head. You're not the perfect guy for this mission, but the Lucky Charm told her I am. That's not how the Lucky Charm works. So this is basically Plague just saying like, since Marinette likes Adrian, that's why she picked him. But he was like hinting at it, uh, but because he didn't want to say it outright, because that would kind of defeat the purpose. Also, on a side note, uh, since 
Ladybug, or well, I guess we should use Merida and Adrian. Since they each used, this is uh, this is based on Reflect All. Since they both swap, since they swap Miraculous, is that, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Since they stopped, since they swapped Miraculouses, does that mean that Plague and Tiki can't say Adrian and Marinette anymore since they were previous owners? Is it only current owners, like people who are wearing the Miraculous at that point? I don't know. But that would be, mm, I guess it would make more sense if it was like, I don't know, if I had like a wristband for a, um, for like a Miraculous and it, and it was on, then that would mean that I was wearing the Miraculous and then Plague or Tiki couldn't say that. But like, if I took it off, then could they say my name? I don't know. That just is interesting, like, cause what if Tag, Plag, Plag, Plag or Tiki couldn't say like Marinette or Adrian cause they were previous owners of the Miraculous. I don't know. That'd be interesting though. This so true and show how dense Adrian. Okay. There's a lot of things wrong with this sentence. It's it translated. It says, this is so true. And this does show how dense Adrian is. That's my translated version of this. Marinette, Ladybug. Marinette without the hat. Uh, Marinette, where's Ladybug? Marinette with the fedora back on. Ladybug, thank God. Uh, this is pretty accurate. I mean, this is true for like every character in the show though. So it's not like it's exclusive to Adrian, but I mean, it definitely makes sense. Basically, Adrian at the end of Ladybug. Adrian and Lila, I'm gonna pay you to make things right. And that's basically what he did, except for Adrian didn't even have to spend any money. He just said, hey, you better make things right or I'm not going to be your friend anymore. And that's basically how it happened. So, good job, Adrian. You did the right thing. Miraculous fandom after Ladybug episode. It's just a bunch of uh, weird theories with things. I don't know if it's like this in depth because it's not like anything super big <laughs> they have the banana guy in here from party crusher that's weird uh i mean is this just like trying to explain the the plan that hawk moth had because it was explained pretty well in the episode and that's one of the things i praised it for was uh they 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 did like shorten like the action part of the episode did feel rushed but it's better to have that part be rushed than the parts where they were explaining things because if they had rushed the beginning and then shown us more action stuff then we would just be confused like wait why are they here how they get here like da, 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 whatever so they did that episode good the only like the thing that would have made it way better was if they split it up into two episodes one episode where they had the first part of the episode and then one episode for the second half of the episode that way they would have 20 minutes instead of 10 minutes for each section so that's like my opinion on this but whatever they're never gonna listen to me i think she's growing even defending her friends now yep this is you see i've been saying for the longest time that chloe uh is improving as a person the thing is though uh, season four spoilers for those of you guys who don't want them, but the fact that we're getting a new queen bee, I don't understand why they're doing that because they've been working throughout the show's series progression. They've been working towards a better Chloe by giving the queen bee miraculous to someone else, like as a more permanent owner instead of just going back to Chloe. That just doesn't like. They've been working on so much character development from Chloe, it just doesn't make too much sense for me. But, um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Because, I, I don't know. It'll just be really interesting to see. Like, I'm really excited to see who gets the newbie Miraculous and just how that all works. This was too good not to share. Aspic is adorable and cute, and his costume is so accurate to snakes. He's bald and ugly. He's a snake, of course he's bald. He still looks like an egg. Why did Adrian choose to look like that? Because he takes being a furry very seriously and snakes don't have hair. <laughs> okay, here's the thing though. What about Viperion? Viperion had hair, but um, this guy is basically me because I really didn't, I didn't like the Aspic uh, model. It just, specifically the head, like the head is so weird. Um, but yeah, the, uh, this is funny and relatable because 
it, it's basically like me and then this is like it makes logical sense like why he would have no hair but then viperion had hair so that was like uh so this is like um realistic this is reality there we go right yeah realistic versus expectation ver or yeah expectation and reality that's what we're gonna go with caught this during a rewatch adrian's reaction to being told he had a good catwalk it's uh adrian with a surprised look I, this is from style queen i think because this was in season two part of the uh the, the let's see it was like the queen bee trilogy kind of thing uh yeah I don't remember this specific like part. It was, I mean, it was in Style Queen, but or, it, yeah, it would have been in Style Queen, I think, because the first part was was it Queen Wasp? Because we had, did we have Style Queen? Was Style Queen as a villain present in two episodes, or was it only one? Was Style Queen first? St I think Style Queen was first, then it was Queen Wasp, then it was Maldictator. I think? I don't know, I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. I love the funny reactions, and I haven't ever seen this reaction before, but it makes me want to go to that episode and take a screenshot of it, because, like, that's a good reaction right there. This is why I don't talk about Miraculous Ladybug much. Explaining Miraculous Ladybug to my friends. Marinette likes Adrian, Adrian likes Ken Noir, Marinette is Ladybug, Adrian is Ken Noir. Ladybug doesn't like Cat, uh, Adrian doesn't talk to Marinette much. Nino used to like Marinette, Alia and Nino are a couple of Alia and friends, are, is friends with Marinette. Louis hates Marinette but loves Ladybug. My friend's like, what? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty confusing. Basically what you have to do though is watch like two episodes and you'll get it. You'll be like, ah, okay. That's all you gotta do. Like instead of trying to spend two hours explaining it to them, spend 20 to 40 minutes showing them two episodes we need one of those meme formats like mm, and then yeah and then like you can make that like into a meme format post it on the subreddit if it gets high then that's great uh explaining uh miraculous say to friends is in the mm one and then the uh the just ha showing them a couple episodes is in the yeah one so uh, I, I don't know that may be a mistake of me doing that. i don't know anyway uh yeah, this this is pretty accurate though. Shout out to one of the only true pieces of constant continuity in Miraculous Ladybug, Jagged Stone Sunglasses. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Here's the thing with this though. This was in the first episode that we saw Jagged Stone though. It was the episode where uh, I'm not, I'm gonna use work studies, but that's from my hero. It's not from uh, this show. It was the episode where the class went to. Uh, let's see, it was Chloe's Hotel, and then did work, and then Jagged Stone was there, and then it was actually Pixelator. That was the episode. That's what the episode was called. I was, I was waiting for the episode name to click, and it clicked. Uh, Pixelator, that was the first time we saw Jagged, and this was the first time we saw episode. So, technically, he's always had these glasses in every single episode, so it's not even, like, con uh, continuity. I don't know, it's just like part of his character design. Not even part of his character design, just part of his character like development. Not even development, it was there from the very beginning. But uh, yeah, I like those sunglasses though. I swooned at this part. You're wonder. oh okay, so it's basically, I'm not gonna read all this, but uh, this was from the episode Silencer. And we've had that, that's been out for a while now. I'm surprised that this got upvoted so much. Uh, Especially with all the ladybug stuff, dang. But, um, yeah, this was basically just Luca's confession, and I don't know. Like, as much as I like Adrianette, I'm starting to think, like, hey, there's kind of a chance at the end of the season, either the finale or, like, beginning of season four, like, there is the possibility that we will see some Lucanette, and then eventually, we all know that Adrian is the OTP, and that's what will happen eventually, but I wouldn't be surprised if they threw in some Lucanette stuff in there, so, I don't know, like, maybe, but then again, they might not do that at all, so I don't know, we'll just have to see. 
After every Lila episode, especially Ladybug. Lila, please place trash here. The fandom. Putting the trash where it belongs. <laughs> yeah. She's good show writing, but not so good of a person. She's like Hawk Moth. She's like... I wonder if Lila... Because it was like in, in the episode Ladybug, it was kind of implied that Hawk Moth would like tell Lila that he was... I don't know. It just kind of seemed like that. For some reason, I got that impression. That could be wrong. And I don't know why I remembered that or think that. But I don't know. For some reason, I got that impression. So I wonder like if they actually team up or something. I don't know, we'll just have to see. Yup. Thomas Ustruck. I think I forgot something. The fans. If you forgot, then it wasn't important. Thomas Ustruck. Yeah, you're right. The plot. Ha <laughs> uh, Man. That's... I mean, actually, this, this doesn't really belong here anymore, though. Like, pretty much all the episodes, as of recently, especially the ones coming, have been plot-related. So... I mean, that was true for, like, the first couple of seasons, but, like... Well, I mean, specifically the first one. The second one, sorta, but, like, there were a couple episodes that were good, uh, as far as the plot. And then, season three's been really good about it. Like, we just happened to get, like, pretty much all the filler episodes in the very beginning, and then now we're getting all the plot-filled episodes, which is really interesting, because it was designed in a way to where we'd get some filler, then some plot, then some filler, etc., but we just got all filler in the beginning, and now it's all, like, plot stuff. So, I mean, it leads for, like, good episodes, though. And honestly, I like that format better. Sort of. Not exactly. But for us, being so used to not having any plot, we went from no plot pretty much, like, all the way through here. And now we're getting a bunch of plot. So then when they kick back to this, like, half plot, half not... Uh, kind of thing in season four if they do we don't really know anything about season four But if they do that then it's gonna be like oh man, we miss all the plot episodes from the end of season three, so uh, yeah, It'll be interesting Lucky charm Ladybug when she finally figures out what to do with her lucky charm. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together This is from the Emperor's new groove. I think didn't we see another post about the Emperor's new groove on this subreddit? I feel like we did But I can't remember for sure I'm pretty sure this is from the Emperor's New Group. Let me know down in the comments. Unpopular opinion, Lucanette has more development in five episodes than Adrianette in three seasons. This is why I'm starting to lean towards like, hey, they might actually do something with Lucanette because like this post is suggesting, they have been putting in a lot of development for it. So just putting it out there, don't be surprised if we see it, but Adrian that is the OTP, so don't worry. Don't be mad, like, oh my gosh, Luke and it's happening, and uh, Like, we know that Adrian that will happen eventually, that's just how shows are. They like to include drama to keep people enticed in the show, so that's how it is. I'm dying, laughing face emoji. Oh, oh, we got a spider and Spider-Man, uh, and then, wait, we got a ladybug? Oh, that's a ladybug, and then Mr. Bug. I mean, this these two weren't in the same episode, though. Like, this was... Am I gonna know? I don't think so. Like, the only episode I can actually remember seeing a physical ladybug in was the um, Dark Cupid when the love letter came in through the window at the end of the episode. That was the only time. So, I don't, I don't remember this part, actually. But... I, nah, it doesn't work if it's not in the same episode, so, good try. This is the closest thing Adrian has been with his father all season. Oh, okay, I think this is supposed to say, like, this is the closest Adrian has been, but that's kind of sad. I mean, it's kind of true, though. I don't know. That's just the sad truth of how it is. I feel bad for Adrian, but, uh... Yeah, this video's gotten a little bit longer than usual. But anyway, that's going to be for me. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. Uh, look forward to next week's edition of Miraculous Monday. And later today's video, if you're watching this on the day that it was uploaded. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs> you got that catwalk down.
Really? Thank you.